what is up? It's me, Mark Alvin, and welcome back to another astrology video. Hey guys, how are you doing all? How are you all? How are you all doing today? Wow. Can I English? No. This is actually my second time filming this video. The first time I filmed straight through everything and it was all blurry because I didn't have my glasses on so I couldn't tell if the screen monitor whatever thing it's called is blurry or not. So I'm filming this for the second time. But yes, today we are going to be talking about zodiac signs as Fortnite skins. I know everybody on here might not be a gamer, so if you're not a gamer, if you don't like Fortnite, then maybe go watch my other videos. But if you are, then good, stay, uh, increase my watch time. I'm just kidding. No, but like seriously, uh, Fortnite has just taken off in the past couple of months, and it's just only getting bigger and bigger and bigger. There are more skins that are being introduced, so I thought I would just make this video because I love trying new things, especially if it's astrology related and I thought this was just gonna be such a great video so with that being said enjoy this video oh my god I said video like a thousand times this is a disclaimer I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know already uh, but these skins are just skins like there's nothing special about them it doesn't give you like any super extra abilities or like some kind of magical powers in Fortnite uh, it's just skin and it's just pure cosmetics so obviously there's not one skin that's stronger it's all on the players. So let's start off with Aries first because they are the first sign of the zodiac. So for Aries, I chose Red Knight for you guys, and I actually chose Red Knight just because she like just totally encompasses such an Aries look, like that red, um, the whole knight. Obviously, knights like to fight, and she just totally looks like such a total badass. I was like, yep, Aries, there we go, done. Um, and you can get her for I believe two thousand V bucks. For Taurus, I wanted something very hard headed, something very probably even metallic. Decided to go with Chromium and Diecast. It honestly cannot get any more Taurus than this. They're an earth sign and their color honestly really is green. They're like very nature loving so I wanted to just kind of encompass that nature but then I also that like hard-headedness that we know Taurus to be. So I thought that skin was just ultimately perfect and you can get them for I believe 1200 Viva. Next one up is my fellow Geminis. What's up? What's up? So for Geminis I wanted something that had like multiple personalities at least on the facial structure so I was like hmm why not the visitor? <laughs> so I chose the visitor for you Gemini's because obviously the visitor, his face changes just like Gemini's, their personalities change, their facial expressions change. And you can get the visitor for 950 V-Bucks with a battle pass. Next one up is my Leo's. So for Leo's, I wanted something very regal, something very rich, something probably with gold in it, preferably a crown as well. So I was like, hey, why not the Monkey Emperor? Uh, so for you guys, for you Leos, I chose Wukong. Wukong, total perfect fit for Leos. It has that regalness, it has that gold, and the character itself even has a description to be like the Monkey King or the Monkey Emperor. Um, and you can get him for 2,000 V-Bucks. Next one up is Cancer. So for Cancers, I was kind of looking for somebody that was very kind of like innocent looking, but like can go ham in the game uh so for you guys i don't know if you guys are gonna kill me or not because i know this character is kind of just a hot mess um but i chose zoe <laughs> for you cancers i don't know like she has the pigtail she has the flower cap she has the skirt going on uh but she also has the boots with like the spikes uh, don't want to mess with her. So you can get Zoe for 950 V-Bucks. I've seen a lot of people with her actually, so she's actually a lot more popular than I thought she was going to be. Okay, so next one up is Virgo. So for Virgo, I wasn't looking for anything too like over the top like Leo. I was mainly looking for something just very more minimalistic. So I decided to go with like Commando and I believe Commando is... 950 V-Bucks as well, uh, but I decided to go with Commando just because it's just such a simple skin yet so many like professional like Fortnite players use her and they're like total badass like they don't need a skin that's so like boom and out there to like really show off their skill. Okay next one up is Scorpio. So for Scorpios I chose 
Okay, I actually had a difficult time picking Scorpios for you guys because I wanted something very dark. Um, something that kind of symbolizes death. So I had two options, either one, Raven, which you can get for 2,000 V-Bucks, and Skull Trooper, which actually I don't know, but, but I do know that Skull Trooper is an OG skin, so he's very rare. Honestly, for Scorpios, it was one of those two, so consider you guys lucky, you guys got to, um, couldn't decide. Gemini, you know. Uh. Next one up is Libra. So for Libras, I was looking for something pink. I was looking for something cute. I was looking for something cuddly. And no, what a better skin than Cuddle Team Leader. <laughs> so you guys did get Cuddle Team Leader. I love this character. Probably one of my favorite skins on Fortnite just because ugh, she's so cute. I would have to say there is a con to her and I think it's her humongous ass head. Um, she has a really big ass head and she obviously is pink so I feel like you could spot her from like a mile away. So that's probably a con but other than that super cute and I believe you can get her for 2000 V-Bucks. Okay so next one up is Sagittarius. So for Sagittarius I wanted to go for something adventurous looking. I was like okay astronauts. There's literally like a million astronauts on Fortnite guys by the way, I don't know why they add so many astronauts, but my favorite astronaut-ish skin is um, Dark Voyager, and I believe for Dark Voyager, you can get him at Season 3 Battle Pass. Yeah, I love the skin because it's not like your typical astronaut suit, it's like all black. I love the neon lights that like are kind of attached to it. I love just such a badass looking skin. Um, so yeah, for Sagittarius, you got Dark Voyager. So next one up is Capricorn. So for Capricorn, I actually chose John Wick for you guys. So previously, I was actually gonna put John Wick in Virgos because Virgos are kind of known as like the pet lovers. They're like the animal people. They're they're the dog Avengers. Uh, but honestly, I was like, you know what? A lot of these traits can also go in Capricorns and John Wick. I, okay, I'm thinking of the movie, but like in the movie, he was like such a badass. Like you don't want to mess with him. He's like such an assassin. Okay, so like other than that, like not considering the movie and just like considering the skin, I love how rich this player looks and like I love the tugs and I love the beard. When I think of Capricorns, I think of like old, t successful, rich businessmen. <laughs> um, so I was like, okay. John Rick it is for Capricorn. I believe you can get him in Season 3 Battle Pass, so... Okay, so next one up is Pisces. So for Pisces, I wanted something very fun, something very colorful, something very out there, you know, something very, like, in the party spirits. I was like, hey, why not Night Show and Light Show? It's Night... Light, night? No, wait. Nightlight and Light Show, uh, yeah, just super fun characters, super fun skins. Whenever I think of a Pisces, I think of somebody that's about to go to a rave, somebody that's about to go ham at a party. So I believe with Nightlight and Light Show, you can get them for 800 V-Bucks each. Okay, so last but finally not least is Aquarius. So I put you guys last because this is probably my most favorite skin out of the whole entire game. So for Aquarius, I wanted something very aquatic for you guys. I wanted something very fishy, something very mermaidy, you could even say. So I was like, hey, why not choose the Moisty Mermaid? And honestly, I don't need to go in depth with this skin because I feel like it's just the most accurate looking thing to its actual zodiac sign. So obviously, I did have a tough time either putting him in Pisces or either putting him in Aquarius, but in the end, I decided to just put him in Aquarius because I thought the other skin looked better on Pisces. And honestly, I don't even need to go in depth with the skin. It just like screams out Aquarius um, or Pisces, but like Aquarius. And I believe for and I believe for the Moisty Merman, you can get him for 2,000 V-Bucks, so... Get okay guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Did you guys enjoy it? Did you guys like it? I hope you did. Um, this is my second time filming it again, so you better enjoy it. I'm just kidding. But if you guys did like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then comment down below what videos you guys want to see next, and I might possibly do it for the next video that I film. Who knows? Not subscribe to this channel. What are you doing? What are you doing? You need to hit that subscribe button right now. Right now, please do it. Uh, but yeah, hit the subscribe button. Go follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is at Mark Elvin. And yeah, I post a lot of astrology content on there as well. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. Oh my god, I haven't done one of these outros in such a long time. So I've been 
kind of like, ugh. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! This moment